Today we we'll look at resultant of three or more forces. Why is another name for resultant? It's effective, or you can call it total. When you have three or more forces and you want to find the total, the resultant or the effective, we resolve them according to the components or the axis. But before we go into looking at the problem on how to resolve vectors, let's look at the background of how vector can be resolved on the x-axis and on the y-axis. For example, if I have two vectors, and there's a force here called F. This is my y-axis, this is my x-axis. We all know this. There's an angle here called theta. So I can resolve this. This one is simple. I can resolve this on the x-axis and also on the y-axis. So resolving on the x-axis This is the angle, this is the axis, this is the hypotenuse. So we have two components here that are known, the, the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So from the elementary mathematics, we know Sokatua. What does it mean? Sine means opposite of a hypotenuse. Cosine means adjacent over hypotenuse and tan means opposite over adjacent. So in this case, we have adjacent over hypotenuse as the x and the f. So adjacent over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse gives us cosine because theta is equal to x which is the adjacent all over f which is the hypotenuse so if you make x the subject of the formula this become x equal to f cos theta and that's the reason why when you are resolving on the x-axis you have cosine similarly when you are resolving on the y-axis normally we know that this alternate angle is that right so, this becomes the opposite. This is the hypotenuse. In this case, we are talking about opposite of a hypotenuse. So, for y-axis, we have opposite, which is y over f is equal to sine theta. So, if you make y the subject, y becomes f sine theta. Many people don't know why when you are resolving on the y-axis is sine. When you are resolving on the x-axis is cosine. Now let's, having looked at this, let's look at this example. Find the resultants of the four forces. In this diagram we have four forces. Four Newton, 9 Newton, 8 Newton, 7 Newton. 4 Newton is inclined at an angle of 60. 7 Newton is inclined at an angle of 25 degrees. So what do we do here? It is simple. We are going to resolve this force, 4 Newton, on both y-axis and x-axis. We resolve it on both x-axis and y-axis. So let's get another diagram here down to simplify this. If I resolve this on the x-axis, I have 4 cos 60. 4 
or 60 degrees plus there's already nine newton here plus nine newton that is what i have here i'm done with this i'm done with this so i will resolve this on the y-axis then i have four sine 60 degrees I'm done with this. I move to this force. I will resolve it on x axis and on the y axis. So, resolving on the y axis is cosine. So, I have 7 cos. 25 degrees 7 newton cos 25 degrees this is in newton i'm done with this so i will resolve this on the y-axis this will be 7 sine 25 degrees plus it's already 8 newton here So, it becomes easy for me. So, you know, when vectors are acting in the opposite direction, you subtract. When they are moving in the same direction, you want to find the resultant, the total, what we call the effective. We can add. But when they are moving in the opposite direction, you subtract. So in this case, for the y-axis, we have two of them moving in the opposite direction. For the x-axis, you have two of them moving in the opposite direction. But you ask yourself, which one is bigger, which one is smaller? In this case, you have 7 sine 25 degrees plus 8 newton. So this is bigger. So we say 7 sine 25 degrees plus it is minus this to find the resultant. So here you have 4 cos 60 degree plus 9. So this is bigger. So we do this minus this. So this becomes, let's start from the y axis 7 sine 25 degrees plus 8 newton minus this for sine 60 degrees so we we'll also do the same on the x axis this is bigger definitely so we we'll have four cos 60 degrees plus nine newton minus 7 cos 25 degrees. So, we need to evaluate this. We need to evaluate this and know the answer. Assuming you evaluate this and the answer is A, you evaluate this and the answer is B. So, in this case, you have vectors in two components a and b so what do you do if you want to find the resultant it is this so you can say that r is equal to r square is equal to a square plus b square but so this is Pythagoras theorem so r will be equal to square root of a square plus b square and the answer will be in newton so try this out find the value of sine 25 multiply by 7 plus this find the value of sine 60 degree multiply by 4 by the time you subtract you get the answer 
which is your A, find the value of cos 60 multiplied by 4 plus 9, value of cos 25 multiplied by, by the time you subtract, you have your B, and you apply this, and you have your, your answer, and this is how you resolve the vectors. Thank you.